hello friends in the present video we will see if you know the capacity or if you know the pressure on the plate depending on that how can we find out the bearing capacity of the footing and also we will see if you know the settlement of the plate then what will be the settlement of the footing so for that we have to buy her some formulas so for the exam as derivations are not required so simply by heart all these formulas that we are going to discuss now so first one we are talking about ultimate bearing capacity ultimate bearing capacity from the plate load test suppose let us say if it is for clays that means if it is of clay soils then it is said that q u f that will be equal to q u p so what is q u nothing but the ultimate bearing capacity f represents the footing p represents the plate that means if it is a clay the ultimate capacity of the plate it is nothing but a ultimate bearing capacity of the footing so here i will say q u f that will be equal to ultimate bearing capacity of footing and q u p is nothing but a ultimate bearing capacity of plate determined from load so if it is a clay is clay soil the ultimate bearing capacity of the plate used for the test that will be nothing but a ultimate bearing capacity of the footing that means it doesn't matter with respect to size of the footing and also size of the plate isn't it? suppose let us say if it is of sands suppose if you are talking about the sands then it is observed that q u f divided by b f that will be equal to q u p that will be divided by b p already we have seen what is q u f ultimate bearing capacity of the footing what is q u p ultimate bearing capacity of the plate so what is mean by b f nothing but a width of footing and what is mean by b subscript p it is nothing but a width of plate that means if you know the bearing capacity of a plate then if you know the width of the plate and the footing we can find out the bearing capacity of the footing from this equation it is understood that your bearing capacity of the footing is depends on the width of the footing and also the width of the plate but if it is a clay it is independent of the width of the plate and the footing the bearing capacity of the plate is equal to the bearing capacity of the footing but if it is a sand your bearing capacity of the footing itself again depends upon the width of the footing and also the width of the plate okay next we will see some settlement values suppose what is the allowable bearing pressure what is the allowable bearing pressure applied on the footing so these relations from this allowable bearing pressure we can find out the settlements happening in the soil that is sf divided by sp that will be equal to pf into pp plus 0.3 divided by bp into bf plus 0.3 to the whole square this is for dense sand here what is meant by s from the terms we can understand s represents the settlement f represents the footing that means here it will be a settlement of footing settlement of footing and what about sp we can say settlement of plate 
settlement of plate. Is it? Already we know what is meant of BF width of the footing, what is meant of BP width of the plate. That means, suppose depending upon the soil, first we have to limit the what is the allowable settlement. So, if you know the allowable settlement of the footing, from that we have to find out the settlement of the plate. After you know the settlement of the plate, you will all draw the settlement load versus settlement. So, corresponding to the settlement, you have to find out the load acting on the plate. So, from the load acting on the plate, you can find out what is the allowable bearing pressure. And again, after that, you can find out the what is the allowable bearing pressure of the footing. That means here it is a uh, reversible mayor. First, you will decide SF. After that, you will decide settlement of the plate. From this, you will find out the load acting on the plate. After that, you will find out QUP. From the QUP, you will find out the QUF. This is nothing but a allowable bearing pressure. So in the previous, we have discussed it as a ultimate bearing capacity. Now we are saying it is ultimate bearing pressure because we are limiting the settlement value. That means corresponding to the similar settlement value, we are finding the bearing pressure. That's why it is called the allowable bearing pressure. So this is the equation if you are having the dense sand. Suppose if you are having clays, then it is understood that SF divided by SP that will be equal to BF divided by P. All the terms will follow the similar manners. That means SF settlement of the footing, SP settlement of the plate, width of the footing, width of the plate. Similarly, settlement of the footing divided by settlement of the plate that will be equal to BF divided by BP whole to the power n plus 1. Normally, this is used for if there is any silty soil. So, if nothing is given, if it is a silt soil, we will consider it n value as a 0 0.5. Understood? So, if you know the settlement value, from the settlement value, we can find out the pressure. So, that is what nothing but a allowable bearing pressure acting on the footing. Okay. So, in the next video, we will solve some problems based on this settlement. Thank you.